are back at Universal Studios Hollywood to give you guys your HHN construction update. So stick with me and let's go check it out. Well, as I come over here by Water World Kill, unfortunately Water World isn't currently going on. But they already have a sign here that they're preparation for Halloween Horror Nights this year. And you can actually scan the barcode go to see what kind of mazes are coming. As I see over here, they have do more lights. So there'll be a bunch of strobe lights in there for the freaky and the dark and the black bone, I mean, maze coming here to Waterworld. And as I check also, over here, the Walking Dead queue, as I mentioned before, they have ourselves a little vending vendor out here, but still no lights or any type of outside decoration for this rumored location that used to be the Walking Dead. Um, and the rumor is the Evil Dead house. So let's see if we get any type of transition in a couple of months. So as we see the Parisian courtyard, um, they also have signs on the side of the walls now that you can scan a barcode, just letting everybody know that they are preparing for Halloween Horror Nights but there isn't much update on this house. As like I said, only the facade looks the same. I didn't see any other detail or any lights up here that will show us any different for the upcoming event. So stay tuned for the rest of the houses that are noticeable here. So as I come into production intro, they actually have no merchandise for the movie and even Jordan Peele's little pop. So as I see the little merch they have here, they have Jupiter's Plane. And they have a second shirt over here. Of the Star Lasso Experience. So pretty cool some shirts they have here. I said they have all sizes and they actually have a third shirt and I'm trying to look at it real quick. Oh, so there's also the Star Lasso Experience and the back of it says Jupiter's Plane. Oh pretty neat. Usually the Halloween Horror Nights merch is located here but currently this is it. Where it's at. As I mentioned the Halloween Horror Nights merchandise I actually got moved a little bit over here and it got its own little section so we still have horrors of blumhouse and universe monsters at the moment but you'll be able to get all this merch at the production central outside next to the hot topic and city one so last time we we're here for the universal monster legends live i mentioned there was a chain that was just loose now i noticed it has a sandbag and it has multiple bags around it so that's the only update that we have built so inside of a sound stage so they can have complete control over the sound moving the walls pretty much doing anything they want they made it look as realistic as like possible we've built a lot of television here lately most recently today the show never have i ever on netflix that is set up to build inside it is 41 and 42 over to your left now you see some production trucks up and about some blue tents wow. all set up. They have been here for the past few so months pretty massive. finishing up their fourth season. As, as you see, a little tent right there, Circus has been here. We have been making television here more, for over 90 years. Started back in 1930. Hey, As we get to the base motel, we're actually first glimpse of our terror trap construction. So as you can see, this is definitely going to be a similar you know, route like we always take it in the past, but no Norman face this time, but pretty cool. So that was this week's Halloween construction update here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So feel free to like and subscribe and enjoy upcoming videos. And then one exclusive one on note. So until next time, see you.